Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Hayes, and welcome to the Faith Lutheran Travel Agency team office. As you have requested, I have prepared a trip for you and your family down to the Caribbean on the Disney cruise ship. Without a further ado, let us begin. Again, we just wanted to welcome you aboard the Disney cruise. The Disney family is so excited to have you and your family on board with them on the holidays as you have chosen to spend Christmas with them. For one entire week, you will be aboard a ship in which you will be shopping at stopping at multiple locations such as Tortola, St. Thomas, Castaway Cay, and Port Canaveral. At each of these locations, you and your family will have the opportunity to explore the town, enjoy the culture, experiment different types of foods, and as well enjoy the beautiful spectacular ocean. While on board the ship, you and your family will have the opportunity to partake in many activities, as well as enjoy many of our dining options. We have special events each day, and we look forward to making this trip remarkable and memorable. The first day will be in part Port Canaveral. You will board the cruise at 345 and settle in and prepare for three days at sea. Day two is another day at sea. Enjoy amenities on ship, and because today is Christmas, you will partake in many activities. The kids will be able to enjoy spending time with Santa, opening presents, there'll be hot cocoa, Christmas movies going on throughout the day, as well as fireworks in the nighttime. Day three will be another day at sea. You can just enjoy the amenities that day, relax, watch the dolphins in the water, go in the pool, the water slides, Maybe hit one of the clubs. There's clubs for the kids as well. Day four is Tortola Island. You will arrive at 7.30. At 8, there will be a scuba diving island tour. And at 2.30, there will be a chance to swim with the dolphins at Dolphin Discovery. The total prices for that day will be 876. Day five is at St. Thomas Island. You will arrive at 7.45 and you will board the cruise at 4 p.m. Total price for the day will be, four, will be $992. Enjoy sailing as sailing tours as well as scuba diving and enjoying the turtles. Taste and enjoy, and enjoy delicious food as well as the beaches. Day six is a day at sea, so again you can enjoy all the amenities they have on board for you. Day seven is at the famous Disney Island known as Castaway Cape. You can enjoy your day with the family on the island. There's plenty of water slides, plenty of food options, and everything is included in the cruise's price. You will board the cruise at 4.45 p.m. Day eight, you will arrive back at four, in Florida at Port Canaveral. Yeah, at 7.30 a.m. and you can enjoy the entire day at Disney World, the Kennedy Space Center, or window shopping. The total price for the day can range from $150 to $600. If you look on the map, point one begins at Port Canaveral in Florida. Then if you look all the way down to the bottom, point two is in Tortola. And then a little bit to the left is St. Thomas, point three, and point four is Castaway Cay. And then you'll return back to Port Canaveral. Day one, again, you begin in Port Canaveral, Florida. You aboard the ship at 345. A little fun fact about this port, it's home of the Kennedy Space Center. This port of departure is about one hour away from Walt Disney World Resort. Some things to see and do, be a part of the magic at Disney World Resort, take an outside out of this world tour of Kennedy Space Center, or go window shopping and take in the scenic surf sides at Cocoa Beach. Day two will be a day at sea. It is also Christmas Day, so you can wake up, open presents with the family, go to drink sip some hot chocolate, eat a wonderful breakfast. Aboard the Disney Fantasy, it's a seamlessly, seemingly endless array of one-of-a-kind offerings to inspire and delight awaits you throughout the ship. You can watch a Broadway-quality musical and splash it up in a freshwater pool, savor upscale restaurant service, and find one-of-a-kind fun and unique clubs designed for kids, teens, and adults. Day two will again be on board the cruise and you'll have the same things to do as the day before except it won't be Christmas. Day four is the British Islands, the Tortola British Islands. You will arrive at 7.30 a.m. and then you will departure at 5.45 p.m. A little fun fact about this, it's the largest and most populous of the 60 British Virgin Islands. Tortola serves as a warm weather retreat for, vir for visitors looking for a tropical escape. Some things to see and do, you can wander the picturesque grounds of Mount Healthy National Park, swim and track with dolphins at Dolphin Discovery, or soak up the sun and surf up Tortola's most popular beach, Cane Garden Bay. At 7.30, you will arrive at Port Tortola. 7.45, you will walk down a few steps into the port, catch your beef island, launch, and snorkeling guide. The tour begins at 8 p.m., so make sure to be there on time. It's a duration of four hours, and it's about $100 per person. Lunch is, of course, included. At 12.15, you will arrive back at the port. You can then enjoy the beach or the village. It's about 
two hours of free time there. I can go grab some treat, go shopping for a little bit. Price can probably range from twenty to one hundred dollars, depends how much you are willing to spend. Two thirty, head over to the Dolphin Discovery. It's within walking distance as well. The duration is two hours and it's seventy nine dollars per person. This can be a fun activity for the kids, a chance for them to swim with the dolphins. Four forty five, grab a sweet cheat treat and head down to the beach to enjoy some live music and the sunset. Location is the Cane Garden Bay, which is one of the most famous beaches there and well known, and the price is $20 in total. And then at 5.45, you will board the cruise. Day 5 is St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Aboard, you will, assure, you will arrive at the beach at 7.45, and then you will uh, board the ship at 4 p.m. One fun fact about this port is that it's occupied by Dutch-owned sugar cane plantations and pirates, and it provides relaxation and recreation to all who visit her shores. At 8 a.m., you will begin a half-day turtle cove sailing and snorkeling. It's about $100 and $20 per person, and it's going to last about two hours. And then at 11 a.m., when you arrive back from your tour, you will have lunch at Kibos. It has a four out of five star rating, and it ranges from $10 to $40 per person. It's authentic Caribbean food, and it's one of the most well-known restaurants on that island, and it's very good, very good. At 12 p.m., you will then go to St. John Island sightseeing tour. It's about $118 per person, and it's going to last about three and a half hours. And then back at 4 p.m., you will board the ship. Day six at sea. It's just another day at sea. You can enjoy all the amen amenities they have to offer. Maybe today can be a nice day to relax and catch up on some sleep in case you haven't been since you've been waking up early. And then day seven will be, of course, at Castaway K. You will arrive at 9.30 a.m. and then you will aboard the ship at 4.45 p.m. Some fun fact about this port, it's reserved for Disney Cruise Line guests. This private island paradise is home to white sand beaches and recreation for all ages. Some fun things to do are to bring the family together for swimming, snorkeling, biking, and kayaking. There's so many fun different water slides. It's very safe for the family as well. Kids can go ride two windy water slides and socialize inside exclusive clubs. At a private beach, adults can sip on cocktails, sunbathe, and endure massages. Day eight, you will arrive back in Florida at around 7.30 a.m. Then you have a chance to either go to the Kennedy Space Center, the Disney World Resort, or you can go window shopping. I'm sure you guys would probably rather go to the Walt Disney World Resort, which is much more fun for the family activity since you do have little ones. And that's going to be the sum of your trip. The prices for the trip, the cruise is about $5,911. This includes room and board as well as amenities and food. The day spent in total is about $876. The day spent at St. Thomas Islands is $992. In Florida, it ranges from $150 to $600. And then, of course, the flights are not included, so that will be, have to be decided all on your own. And then the total price for this trip without the flights is $8,379. Just some things for you to be prepared. Make sure to bring toiletries, swimsuits, extra money for each stop, extra clothing. You never know what can happen. Sometimes you can get it wet. Sunscreen, of course, since you're going to be out in the sun. Don't want to get too sunburned. And then sandals and athletic shoes since you will be going on hiking and walks a lot. And then, of course, your documents, especially during the COVID season time. You'll have to take COVID tests depending on where you go. And in this case, you will not. But just make sure you have anything, perhaps IDs and passports ready. And that's about it.